I'm Max Sansing. I'm a core artist with Chicago Public Art Group, and Chicago Public Art Group works with the aldermen in the area to basically put this project together. The mural is basically showing the commonalities between the two peoples, be it that we are both migrant folks, us African Americans coming from the South to Chicago, and Mexican Americans coming from Mexico. And so it's basically literally bridging the gaps and the common threads between the two communities. Three years ago, residents in the ward voted to have murals done. We wanted to have a canvas where artists from the two neighborhoods, to have those artists kind of take what we talk about, about communities coming together and seeing some of the simil similarities with migration or or a lack of access to rights or struggles that the communities are facing today. On the Mexican side of the wall, we have tapestries with different patterns from different areas of Mexico. On the African-American side, we have symbols which are called uh, adinkra symbols, which are West African textile symbolages that they use in clothing to show different meanings. You know, we decided to kind of put all these things in here to kind of show like the symbols of migration and new lives here in America, mainly Chicago. Chicago has one of the greatest collections of public art in the world. In recent years, the idea of public art has, be, has begun to expand. It's, it's the intersection of public art and street art. And in the year of public art, we're going to be investing the city alone over one and a half million dollars pushing art into every ward. All, all of Chicago's neighborhoods will have public art installations during the year 2017. So we had some projects that were funded by the aldermen that were in here in Pilsen and then Chinatown. I'm really excited to, to have this be declared the year of public art. We've already uh, approached aldermen and are telling them about this opportunity and we're hoping that we can we can get some more projects going in neighborhoods especially neighborhoods that are art deserts that don't have a lot going on think about new ways that art could help build community or start a conversation um, that the that the neighborhood needs to have or wants to have this particular neighborhood has gone through years of like gang activity. There's been tension for a while. I mean, I've just witnessed some tension during the project. I, I witnessed the shooting. Normally you would pack up and run, but I believe that that is just kind of like reinforced the reason why this is needed in the neighborhood. I would agree that there's a lot of work to do and having a shooting um, while you're putting up a mural this supposed to uh, be inspirational. It's kind of a reality check. What we can do is try to try to focus on things that are positive, and that's what we're trying to achieve with these murals. I feel as though public art in Chicago is, is a very strong tool. And I feel like it should tackle some of the issues in Chicago. These murals right here actually take art into that rare place it's never really been at sometimes, which is practicality, where this actually kind of serves as a purpose for people to indulge in their cultures and their commonalities, and it's mostly needed over here, I feel. 